Okay, uh, we continue with our uh, chapter X, uh, uh, the topic of questionnaire design and field work plan. Eh? Uh, it's uh, quite uh, relate, eh? uh, close uh, relation with our previous chapter. Okay, uh, it's a questionnaire design and field work uh, plan. Okay, so after study of this uh, topic, again, it's the chapter you should be able to understand the basic rule of questionnaire design. Eh? And then implement do's and don't while designing the questionnaire. Know how to validate the survey questionnaire. Yeah. Uh, it's very, I think, it's quite popular for quantitative technique. Yeah. And know how to pretest the questionnaire. And understand how to plan for field work uh, for survey. Okay. Yeah, the design of a questionnaire depends on the purpose of data collection. Yeah. Uh, the purpose of data collection. Whether we uh, uh, will uh, okay uh, use a data collection for okay, exploratory questionnaire uh, that's a qualitative in nature, not for statistical uh, validation, and then a formal standardized uh, questionnaire that to test the hypothesis for a conclusive uh, study. Okay. So in business, uh, uh, maybe we try to focus on this questionnaire should meet the objective of the study. Yeah. That's a uh, complete and accurate information uh, must have in that uh, questionnaire and easy for respondent to re to to respond. Yeah. That means uh, in term of uh, easy for them to uh, understand that item, uh, and then max the uh, interview concise uh, and to the point. Okay, so this is a uh, to make sure that uh, we can get some data that we are looking for. So defining the target population, I mean define the target population about which you know, uh, he or she wishes to generalize from uh, the sample. Yeah, the language to uh, respond uh, respondent is going to understand and respond in okay um, it's no point for you to develop a questionnaire that's a different language for example okay uh, you know that for uh, population if you're looking to uh, do your research for example in China uh, uh, but uh, you use uh, language in uh, Malay okay there are not so many people in China can speak yeah, in maybe the population targeted population yeah, for that area okay, uh, not understand in that uh, particular language so we have to understand uh, make sure that this language uh, is not a barrier for us to uh, design our questionnaire okay and then for deciding uh, on what to ask it means yeah, we must very clear about our objective first eh, before uh, we continue with uh, uh, this we, we, to decide what what to ask. Eh. So what information one need to collect uh, from the responder, eh. and then so three potential that of uh, information. Okay, primary interest and yeah, dependent or dependent variable. So information on independent variable and that explain the. Eh. Uh, dependent variable and then information on com, com, uh, confounding uh, confounding variable so question can be asked in the closed ended form or open ended form uh, closed ended form or open ended form so this some um, advantage for closed ended or open ended uh, and disadvantage for closed ended and uh, open ended Maybe you can see one by one of this uh, point. For example, close ended as the uh, this much easier. Okay, and then uh, advantage for open ended as permit unlimited number of answer. Okay, for example, if uh, you ask about the uh, uh, age, uh, so you can ask open ended question. Okay, uh, how old are you? Okay, for example, eh. Eh? It means that's open-ended question. 
so the respondent can answer uh, in a precise and accurate one okay and this some uh, disadvantage okay. uh, answer can be irrelevant sometimes eh, uh, if uh, your respondent as 150 years old uh, so that's maybe not relevant with your with your research uh, or uh, your data uh, disadvantage for open uh, the close ended okay so wording in individual uh, question must be uh, very uh, at least uh, short and simple sentences uh, as for only one uh, piece of emotion in at a time uh. That means uh, you don't have to ask <coughs> two uh, double barrel question. I mean, two objective in one question. Okay. Avoid negative uh, if uh, avoid negative if uh, possible. And then ask precise question. It means very objective question, a clear object question. Question must generate the uh, required information, uh, uh, not something that we not uh, try to. Uh, get the data okay and word eh, must have the same meaning to all respondent respondent <coughs> and then uh, try to avoid leading question eh, it means uh, just focus on at least one objective eh. and then uh, avoid hypothetical uh, question eh. Do not overtake the respondent's memory. Eh? Ensure that those you ask have the necessary knowledge. Eh? Not the sample that's not. Uh, that this is the sampling technique. Eh? Suppose that uh, we uh, have to consider eh? in our uh, process uh, to select our sample. The level of details, eh? sensitive issues, and minimizes uh, bias. Uh, minimize uh, the uh, how bias. Or that's a wording of individual question. Got this sequencing of question, maybe opening questions. Uh, this uh, uh, how that we develop a structure of our questioning. So we can uh, develop our questionnaire by so develop uh, first uh, opening question and then uh, question flows and question varieties. Okay, uh, length, length of questionnaire uh, refer to uh, uh, that means. Uh, we have to focus uh, or ask only necessary question uh. so questionnaire design should ensure, should ensure it, it, it is easy to carry uh. easy to carry because sometimes uh, we have to hire uh, people or your uh, research team uh, to go for uh, to meet the respondent uh. So uh, that's why we must make sure that it's easy for, for us to carry visible in different kind of line eh? and distance uh, between different answer categories should be sufficient so that there is no confusion or mistake while uh, placing a tick over the actual response or a given question. So if the questionnaire is coded before doing the field work, eh, as most of the questionnaire are likely to be displayed. Eh, so it must be ensured that the field workers, eh, field workers, eh, uh, know where to mark the answer eh, on the code or actual answer choice. Okay. Uh, this is uh, important for researcher uh, to know uh, how that they uh, can do the analysis uh, before design the questionnaire. Okay. Uh, so, 
if uh, you as a researcher uh, uh, you must at least uh, know how to uh, analyze uh, your data before we design that questionnaire So physical appearance of a questionnaire can have a significant effect on both the quantity and quality of survey data uh, obtained. That's appearance of that questionnaire. So a lot of questionnaire you can see, eh, you can find this uh, cover letter required, uh, cover letter or introduction to respondent. For example, you introduce yourself as a student or you are a researcher appointed by uh, maybe uh, uh, once a government body or maybe by private uh, sector or private organization that hire you as a consultant uh, uh, to get information from the respondent, the respondent and then uh, there are no uh, hesitate for respondent to call directly uh, with the main office for example or with uh, faculty members uh, uh, to make sure that uh, your uh, uh, background or, or your detail or your profile is uh, uh, true so this is a cover uh, letter that so uh, normally we will introduce ourselves and, and the objective of the respondent uh, uh, the objective of that uh, research and then um, uh, in terms of uh, privacy uh, privacy uh, of a respondent uh, must be protected and uh, respondent can refuse to answer or uh, not answer okay so that's uh, maybe we can put in the cover letter and of course uh, we have to make sure that our instruction is very simple to understand as well okay the interviewer instruction should be placed alongside the question to which they pertain and then uh, instruction on where the interviews uh, interviewers should probe uh, for more information or how reply should be recorded uh, placed after the question okay concluding questionnaire with open-ended question and thanks uh, uh, this uh, the sequence still uh, refer to the sequencing of our questionnaire so go to end the questionnaire with an open-ended question to get free opinion on the topic so it's very common uh, uh, you can see uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, questionnaire uh, you will get open-ended question in the last uh, page or the last question okay. uh, any suggestion uh, for uh, to improve the training for example so that's our uh, open in the question and uh, last page uh, we will thank you and thanks a lot for uh, your response eh? uh, we are very uh, highly appreciated so at the end of questionnaire do not forget to thanks the respondent because uh, they already spent uh, some time for uh, to uh, uh, support our research Okay, this is a pre-testing, testing or pilot test, eh? or pilot test. So the purpose of pre-testing, wording of the questionnaire are correct to convey the same meaning to all respondent. Uh, so that's very important in terms of content of our item. Eh? Uh, can convey the same meaning to all respondent. And then so whether the question have uh, been placed in the right sequence eh? so whether the question are clearly understood by all classes of respondent eh? whether additional questions are needed eh? or uh, whether some questions should be eliminated and then so whether the instruction to interviewers are clear and adequate okay? So there's a validity uh, as we uh, discussed before uh, the validity phase uh, content or uh, phase uh, validity uh, breakle or predictive uh, validity concurrent or uh, criterion validity so a clear plan for data collection uh, for data collection 
uh, is uh, very important for us uh, to develop uh, as a researcher okay so there is a clear overview of what task needed and needs uh, to be carried out uh, uh, who should perform them and then so what should be the duration uh, the time for example if you are uh, looking for uh, finish up your project paper later uh, so you just only four months uh, four months uh, uh, for you to plan uh, um, and then uh, uh, we must list out uh, what uh, tasks that need to be carried out and then human and material resources for data collection are organized in the most efficient way yeah? that means uh, this is our capability yeah? our uh, resource uh, must be uh, used very efficient and then delays in the data collection because of lack uh, of uh, planning is minimized Okay, field work plan is clearly linked to the uh, sampling uh, plan. Uh, who will do the framework uh, field work? Okay, when should the field work start and how long should the uh, field work be carried out? Uh, this example, the structure of a research team in a field work uh, plan. Okay, uh, field worker, uh, supervisor, and then research team. Here. So this uh, this uh, briefing session is conducted after recruitment of uh, field workers uh, and and with a practical round of mock interviews and post and question from field workers on the possibilities of any difficulties that they they may face so this is a very important uh, session to make sure that our field worker uh, can deliver uh, or can convey the uh, message for uh, our uh, questioning so i think uh, that's uh, for chapter number uh, eight so thank you.